TST and Visi presents Visi Modeling, a Progress Integration. So for our first example, we're going to use the Edit Faces command. Select Tangent Faces, and we're going to pick my face. As you can see, we can just simply extrude this face in a direction, and we can give this a distance. So let's say we extrude as a body. You can see how it extrudes that out. This simply turns it into a solid just with one command. So as you can see, we extended this out six inches. Now we'll go ahead and trim it at, let's say, the halfway point. Let's say for splitting our part, we'll cut that body. We'll do our translation, selecting the part. Let's say we'll move that up. Let's say 1 16th, and you can actually see that 1 16th gap in between. So you can see the offset during that translation. So from here, we'll just make this exact. We'll use a different method on being able to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and hide my lower. Select the Edit Faces command once again, picking this as a tangent face, and we can use the offset and reblends. So with this, we're going to move this, let's say, 1 mil. And you'll see that it's going to actually create that gap so you can see the one mil between our upper and lower. So that would be the distance between, so that would be where the strip would be filled. So if we go into Analysis and Dynamic Section Dialog, you can actually see and actually adjust where that's going to be cutting from. So as you can see, we scroll that around, you can adjust where it's at. So in this next example, we're going to go ahead and create a binder surface and reference for our flange unfold from. So we're selecting these faces. We're going to knit the faces together and extracting them. So now we have a surface to work off of. I'll use the fill holes command, which is a really, really nice tool to be able to select an entire solid and fill all the holes tangently. So as you can see, it'll fill the holes. It'll simplify everything it can. And now we're ready to do our surface extension. We'll use the parting plane here selecting one side, selecting the other side, and we can extend this out. As you can see here, now we did have an option to unite that together, but we can unite that later as well. So for example, we'll go ahead and unite it right now. And when I go into my flange unfolding, and pick my edge, And that's going to process around the tangencies of that blend that we're selecting. It's generating a mesh. And then from here, we can select binder surface and we can pick our flange surface. So once we pick that, it's going to process. It's going to load in where we're going to unfold from. And you'll see that this is going to be referenced to that flange surface. So you can see how it flattens out to that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. If you have any questions or would like to see a live demo, please contact us at 248-922-9293 or by visiting our website tst-software.com.